Unit 7, Lesson 12, Constructing the Coordinate Plane. Number 1. Draw and label an appropriate pair of axes and plot the points. I designed both the horizontal axis and the vertical axis to be in increments of one-fifth. Since each of the data points were in fifths, or no larger than the absolute value of one and one-fifth, it was easy to fit all of the data points on this graph. For the first set of coordinates in blue, I moved along the x-axis to the right, one-fifth, which would be one of the squares, and then I went up four-fifth, which would be four of the squares. And it's at that spot that I plotted the point for the first set of coordinates. For the second set of coordinates in green, I started at the origin, and I moved to the left three-fifths, which would be three of the squares, and then I moved up two-fifths, which would be two squares. And that's the location where I plotted my point for the second set of coordinates. For the third set of coordinates, I needed to go to the left one and one-fifth. That's a total of six-fifths to the left, or six boxes, or six squares to the left. And then I went down four-fifths, which is moving down four boxes or four squares. And that's where I plotted my point for the third set of coordinates. For the fourth and last set of coordinates, I moved to the right one-fifth, and then I moved down three-fifths. And that's where I plotted my point for the last set of coordinates. Number two, Diego was asked to plot these points. What interval could he use for each axis? Explain your reasoning. When making each axis for his graph, he could use intervals of 50, since 50 is the greatest common factor of all the numbers other than zero. For example, the first set of coordinates, negative 50 and zero. He would just move one unit to the left and zero units up or down. The second set of coordinates, positive 150. He would end up moving three units to the right and then 100. He would move two units up. Because 50 goes into 150 three times, that would be three units to the right. And since 50 would go into 100 twice, that would be two units up. For the third set of coordinates, 200. Well, 50 goes into 200 four times, so that would be four units to the right. And then negative 100, that would be moving down two places or two units because 50 goes into 100 twice. Number three, A. Name four points that would form a square with the origin at its center. The coordinates for those four points would be one and one, negative one and one, negative one and negative one and the last set of coordinates would be one and negative one by the way this is just one example how you could form a square with an origin at its center here's a look at it graphed i placed a tiny red dot at the center where the origin is i plotted each of the points and i wrote their coordinates next to each one b graph these points to check if they form a square well, I already graphed it and I showed you the graph, but let's take one more look at it so that we can see the square. Here's a look at it. It forms a square and you can see the origin inside the center. You can use your imagination as well to see how you could use other points that would also make a square. Number four, which of the following changes would you represent using a negative number? Explain what a positive number would represent in that situation. A. A loss of four points, that would be represented by using a negative four. C, a loss of $10, that would be represented by a negative 10 or a negative $10. B and D are not represented using a negative number because they're talking about a gain of yards or above sea level. I wouldn't represent either of those with a negative number. Explain what a positive number would represent in that situation. For A, a positive number would represent a gain of points, and for C, a positive number would represent a gain of money. Number five, Jada is buying notebooks for school. The cost of each notebook is $1.75. A, write an equation that shows the cost of Jada's notebooks, C, 
in terms of the number of notebooks n that she buys. I wrote $1.75 times n equals c or c equals $1.75 times n. B. Which of the following could be points on the graph of your equation? Some of these fit perfectly into the cost to the number of books and some of them fit perfectly into the number of books to the cost and one of them doesn't fit at all. So the cost to the number of books would be $1.75 to one book and the other one would be $17.50 to 10 books. And then the number of books to the cost, that would be two books for $3.50. And then the next one would be five books for $8.75. Number six, a cornfield has an area of 28 and 6 tenths acres. It requires about 15 million gallons of water. About how many gallons of water per acre is that? To figure this one out, I created a table with the left-hand column having the number of acres and the right-hand column having the number of gallons of water. 28 and 6 tenths acres for every 15 million gallons of water. Since I'd like to know how many gallons of water per acre, I want to get this down to just one acre. So 28 and 6 tenths acres divided by 28 and 6 tenths equals 1. So I need to divide 15 million by 28 and 6 tenths. But they did say about how many gallons of water is that. So I don't need to divide it by exactly 28.6. I've decided to divide it by 30. 15 million gallons of water divided by 30. That's the same as 1,500,000 gallons of water divided by 3. Because I'm going to knock off one of the zeros on the top which is the same thing as making 15 million 10 times smaller. And I'm going to knock off that zero on the bottom, which is the same as making 30 10 times smaller. 1,500,000 divided by 3 is a lot like 150 divided by 3. And I know 150 divided by 3 is 50. But 150 divided by 3 is a lot smaller than 1,500,000 divided by 3. In fact, it's 10,000 times smaller, so I have to remember to bring down these four zeros. So 1,500,000 divided by 3 is 500,000. So I will select C, 500,000. Approximately 500,000 gallons of water are needed for one acre of land. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 7, Lesson 12, Constructing the Coordinate Plane.